I'm tired of evil winning. You know? Mm. That's why I don't watch superhero movies, you know. Because I saw Spider Man mm. back in the day. He took a sit out. And but they win. Spider Man lost too many times in that movie before he finally won. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you're looking for authentic Belizean recipes, then you're in the right place. My name is Barbara and this is Cooking Made Simple. So what are you eating? Uh rice, vegetables? A chicken? And a chicken? Would you count this as one, two, three? No, one, two, three is rice and beans. So one, two? Yeah. So Joe did the rotisserie chicken. Which I asked for, thank you. <laughs> I don't really like chicken leg and thigh, but I eat it if I have to. I love it. I'm just breaking it apart. So I'm gonna get the wing. Yeah. <laughs> Jordy over there, sir. Give me that. I already bit it. If you don't want that skin, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> We're that kind of household. Skin's we the fight, best part. We fight off a of skin. Oh, by the way, I tried this recipe for the first time today, and you'll see that come up at the show. Probably after this one. Before we go any further, you guys, check out my sponsor, Satura. You have skin issue, hair issue. These are the products you want to check out. This company does everything. We're 100% natural. It's all handmade. It's all tested. I promise you're going to love it, all right? Purchase, purchase with the link below. The links are below. And check this video. I don't know if it's this one or this one. I don't know what part my, my head is it's over my head somewhere so you can see the review that I've done on the company so you can know what the uh, products are about right now back to our regular scheduled mukbang okay mayonnaise mustard and relish only because I'm not eating any side dishes with the chicken because I had like a late lunch mm. and now this is like a light dinner Mm-hmm. Joe did it. Mm-hmm. So I got a little bit depressed just now. Um well first of all, the last book bang I didn't like the coloring of the camera, so I've tried again to set up my camera. When Jada's around she'll do manual setting and she knows what she's doing, but she can't always be here because she's in her room working. So we have to try to figure it out, Josh, and we don't know what the hell we're doing. So we set it on auto, and I went to go look at a bunch of videos last night, and I changed. They had seven settings you should set on auto, mm -hmm. and I had four of them on top. Oh, wow. <laughs> no wonder it was giving us problems. <laughs> that would do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I went to go look up a recipe. To make all the overripe bananas because again, Jada bought bananas and didn't eat them all. I was supposed to get a smoothie out of that. Yeah, I'm going back. I know, I know, I know. I don't blame you. So I don't want to make banana muffin and banana bread. Ain't nobody eating it. No. I only eat banana muffin when it's hot from the oven with some butter. That's it. I'm done. Banana muffin is. Bananas good. give me pain. It gives me gas. Bana I love bananas. Mm -hmm. I love banana smoothies, but uh, and like banana candy, but. You know, like the banana muffin? Mm, I mean, it tastes fine, but it's not like. Whoa. You like chocolate chip? Yeah, banana yeah. Muffin. Or that other one. Um, so I found this recipe. What's that muffin with all the stuff on top of that you like to make? The coffee cake one. That was good. Clean them. Yeah, that. That's good too. Mm -hmm. So anyway. She has videos on all of that we're talking about. Go watch that. I don't know what this is. I think it's a brownie. It has no eggs, no oil. Hmm. No leavening agents like baking powder, baking soda. I don't know what make the. I don't know. It's. I was going to say what makes it raise. I mean, it looks good to me. I was going to say what makes it raise, but it really didn't raise. This is exactly how the batter looked. The height of the batter. So, of course, the recipe comes from Tasty. Tasty is a YouTube channel that does cooking videos, viral cooking videos. Just like you know, have they, you know they have 12 million followers or subscribers hmm. at YouTube. I don't even know how much they have at Facebook. Uh, they just started up the other day. They have appliances in every store. Hmm. And the thing looks cheesy. 
the stuff that look good you know and I know that they're owned by BuzzFeed I've known that and BuzzFeed is rich not a fan uh-huh so I can count on one hand any recipe that I've tried from Tasty that come out good I don't have very high hope for this but we're gonna see I mean it and, looks like a brownie and either way I'm gonna put it up and if it's okay or it tastes good better than okay I'll let you guys know too I've done a few things why is that doing that every time we're doing a mukbangs now? Mm -hmm. hmm? Mm -hmm. is it fun? oh right back to it mm. It's that phone. Uh, that phone. It's my soul phone. Mm hmm okay. okay. We were talking about tasting all that. Mm hmm You have some this here? No. So. Just not a fan. I'm going to go look up Chef John. Chef John, I mean, he tries to be funny. And sometimes he is, like, with anybody else that tries to be funny. You hit or miss, right? I've never really tried none of his recipes, but I found out that he bought all recipes. Hmm. Now, all recipes I absolutely adore. So he's cooked a lot of the recipes there. I adore, I mean, I, what I like about all recipes is because there's people like me that donate my recipe to them and then they recreate it. Hmm. But then he cooks a lot of recipes too, I just found out. And I got really depressed. Because today's October 1st when we're taping this on the 23rd of October will make nine years since I've been doing YouTube. I don't feel very successful. Honestly, I don't. I'm having a moment. You always see me happy on here. And for the most part, I am. But today, I'm not. <sighs> depressed, my way. <laughs> huh? I think I'm tired of corporations always winning. Small businesses can make no headway. They gave us a bailout literally in April. Half the population didn't get it. And now I heard the leader of the free world says, we're living fine without it. Why do we have to pass another stimulus? He's living fine. <laughs> so, He's wow. Living wow. wow. Mm hmm This chicken made me feel better though. Okay, Daddy, could you please take that phone in the room somewhere for me? Where's that? Where's that? I would ask you. To, it's on my desk. It's on the desk. It sounds like it's coming all the way from over there. I would ask you to turn it off, but I don't even know how to turn that phone off or on. I do. Thank you, baby. Your phone decided I just want to start to talk now. I'll get that phone to make no noise. Mm -hmm. Mm, this is so good. This is a phone number that I give out when I'm not sure of the people and <coughs> it's my troll phone. Do I need to say anything more? It's a burner phone. <laughs> you guys can't see it, but there's a little creature trying to get food off me right now. Mm hmm And she already ate today. Well, her dinner. Can Daddy come back with my Daddy? Can you get my ice cream from the freezer, please, honey? What? Ice cream. Front freezer in a beautiful little bowl and bring me a plastic spoon. No, I got no food for you. Mm -hmm. She thinks she got food. Where's the spoon at? Mm -hmm. Not in the freezer. In the drawer. In the spoon drawer. It's orange or red. Which are all colors you need when you want to eat. If you're trying to put on some weight, because I know some people that are trying to do that. Thank you, babe. You guys can see that? It's lactose free ice cream. Am I hiding the brownie now? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Oh, this is pretty. Leave that in there. Okay. You gonna taste it? What? The brownie. I'm still eating. Oh, okay. okay. I'm eating my, my protein first. Your yeah, proton? Uh huh. Yeah, so I, I got a little bit down. I'm tired of evil winning. You know? Mm. That's why I don't watch superhero movies, you know. Because I saw Spider Man mm. back in the day. You took us to see it, huh? 
And but they win. Spider-Man lost too many times in that movie before he finally won. Well, I mean, that bugged me. He just started out. He just if I just start being a hero, I'm not gonna be perfect. But he kept taking a whipping. I'm like, let's look at this. When is he gonna win? <laughs> no, sadly, we get a lot more characters that all they do is win, and they've gotten worse. Mm-hmm. I can't have every character wins all the time, and then you don't care about the character because it's like they're gonna win. Which I really, I don't really care too much for Superman because Superman's just gonna win. I don't mind that they lose one time. I guess you need two battles for me. How many times has Spider-Man lose in that first one? Well, three. He didn't lose against Bonesaw. He didn't lose against Wrestler Guy. He won his money. Mm -hmm. um, do you count as the last when Uncle Ben got shot? Yeah. Because he didn't, he didn't stop the robber. Who, mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, I don't he can't save own family. The hell? But he didn't know. <laughs> he didn't know his uncle was gonna be there when he let the criminal get away. Mm -hmm. That's because the guy jipped him out of his money. Mm. It's been awesome since I think. I'm about telling it. you, this chicken is doing the thing. This chicken's great. I love um, baked chicken or. Uh, it's not baked. It's rotisserie. Mm -hmm. But the same idea though. <clears throat> Show my mouth clean. So the way you get crunchy skin. Mm hmm. It's the best part. You know when I had my gaba issue, I couldn't eat that skin at all. That sucks. <clears throat> it really sucked. I couldn't eat no mayonnaise, no butter. Mm. So, anyways, I got tired of watching just these people, these septuagenarian white men that are in power, just really railroad us and the country, and they keep getting away with it. And for the people that are sitting on the sidelines that are saying, I don't know if I want to vote because we vote, but it doesn't make a difference. They never, you know, help us. They want our votes, but they don't help us. That's the fetus, man. I'm telling you, the leader of the free world said, when they asked him how come he's ramming a, a justice through, you know, in the last 30 days, when the elections are already happening, you know, people are already voted. I, I read on, mm -hmm. there was a record number of people who voted at this time mm -hmm. than it was uh, last time. Mm -hmm. It went from like double digits to triple digits, something mm -hmm. like that. On your arm, Josh. Mm. Yeah, so elections are already going on. He's running a justice through. You know what he said? Elections have consequences. And we have the presidency and we have the Senate. And pretty much we're going to screw you every chance we get. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. And yet the Democrats play fair at every turn. Oh, there's decorum. There's this, there's, they don't care. All right, make with the assisting now. Okay, so I'm gonna have to like cut this clip right here in the middle because I didn't taste it for the end of that next show. Okay. So right here, guys, is the ending of the other show. Oh, we're back, guys. We just did the <laughs> ending. <laughs> we just did the ending. Where you wanna put your thing? Full disclosure, I tasted it just now. Which one do you want? I don't know. Yo, you don't want to eat any? I'll taste one, but I want to eat it off camera. Okay. Just pick one. Pick a small one to taste it, and then you can get a big one later. Focus. Okay, guys. I tasted it just now for the other show, for the um, actual recipe show. Um, I didn't hate it, but I don't like the taste of the banana in it. But like I said, surprisingly, I like the taste of the peanut butter in it. Yeah, the banana is not helping it, but... What do you think about the texture? Not bad, right? Like the texture is more like a banana bread or muffin than a brownie, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But it has enough baking cocoa in there that you could taste it like a brownie. The stuff that's on the top here, you guys see that? It's not crust. You know that crust that comes on the or top caramel. of caramel. That's crunchy. It's peanut butter. Yeah. Yeah, the banana's the only thing that's kind of hurting it. And unfortunately, I looked up the recipe to see what to do with bananas. Oh, man. <laughs> I feel like it's, a, it's something I can eventually like, but like mm -hmm. I have to, I have to know what I'm gonna eat. You know what mm -hmm, I mean? Mm -hmm. And if it's like this or a brownie, brownie, like a <laughs> classic brownie. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, this is lactose-free ice cream. It's half a cup, <laughs> and it's a hundred <laughs> calories. Good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I tried it a few times. Like, I got a desperation, but it's like I can't do it. He eats it when there's nothing else. <laughs> desperation. Don't touch my stuff in desperation. I, I, that hurts I, I my heart. I don't want it. I'm good. Mm -hmm. I've tried it two times. It's just not going to work for me. Mm. <clears throat> Let me give you guys an update. 
So Joe found a bicycle that he wanted because you know I got a new bike. I barely rode my new bike today. This is not the first time. This is the third time I rode the bike. The first two times I had basket issues, so we finally found a good basket. Hey, does it work for you, the new basket? The basket's working. Okay. But I want, Joshua, I want you to, when we spin the wheel, for you to see what's making that rickety sound. I can't find what's making a rickety sound. But anyways, let's get off of my bike. Joe found the bike that he wanted, and I had like 160 something towards it. And my dear sweet sister Sandra gave the rest of the money, so we bought the bike. Oh. It's going to come on October the 6th. Shh, don't tell Joe, even though he knows don't tell him because when the bike comes we're gonna set it up for him and then do like a ribbon to lead out to the outside <laughs> Joshua, Joshua didn't even go with it because we don't know how to set up the bike <laughs> well, who's building that bike <laughs> Joe's gonna say I'm not riding this bike you guys built it <laughs> I mean I could probably figure it out but it's not it's probably gonna fall apart you just put the wheels in right doesn't the frame come built no it really comes kind of you have to put on the brakes Oh, I don't know about the brakes. <laughs> and you gotta make sure you put on the handle. It's not gonna come off like when Joe put on my handle and it started to come off. And I'm riding forward and the bike going so. And he goes, Oh, I didn't tighten that good enough, huh, babe? <laughs> There's not even a large policy on me, guys. I don't know what he's trying to do. I know, right? If we're going after policies, we gotta go after him. Mm hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think my policy is like the same as yours, right? No, mine's it's only fifty thousand. How much? Hundred thousand. Ooh, y'all hear that? Ooh, uh, so much money. Not really. That's nothing. Guess who's your beneficiary? You? Amanda. Uh. <laughs> I, I said it to be ominous. <laughs> like I changed it to just me. Mm -hmm. If you can do that, do that. Cause you never know. It's 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 expensive to. I would not want to go wash a car by the street no. to bury my loved one. No. God forbid. And I I prefer the Frank Reynolds way. You know, just throw me in the trash can, call it a day, save your money. <laughs> I'm not in the body. <laughs> mm -hmm. But if you live where we live, wait. If you live where my mom and them lived, it's 16k for the second package. They have four packages. The fourth package, we didn't even look at that. <laughs> like, uh, we didn't even look at that. 16 is... We did 16. the second package and we stole a few items out of the third package. Yeah, and it was 16K. Yeah, it was 15,900 or something. Call it 16K. 16 then, yeah. To bury where we live, it's 8K. Oh, mm -hmm. sweet. Mm -hmm. Just like real estate. Location, location, location. location. Mm -hmm. I really would love to own a, um, a morgue. Mm -hmm. Or uh, one of those places where, you know, there's cemeteries and all that. Uh, was it mortuary? A mortuary? Mortuary. A morgue, I think it's <coughs> the Police government stuff. Owns yeah, uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah mm -hmm. I'd love to own a mortuary. It's very peaceful. And you're always in business. <laughs> you're never not going to be out of business. <laughs> you know what I mean? Unless you get a CB body and it kills you. <laughs> okay, well, that, but. <laughs> You know what I mean. You know they said that was happening, right? Really? The stuff was being released out of the body. Oh my! It's like that. It's like my favorite horror movie, um, Return of the Living Dead. Mm -hmm. Is where the guy and the the boy are working at a, a mortuary, mortuary, mm -hmm. working at a mortuary, and um, they find these canisters, and he's like, "It's from the military," and they're like, "So you want to see? Like that zombie movie was real. The one from Tarantino, not Tarantino, uh, uh, Del Toro. No. Oh my God. Shyamalan Ding Dong." Um, John, John Carpenter. John <laughs> Carpenter. I was like, John Carpenter's a thing. Yeah, John Carpenter. Oh, I was mm -hmm. I hate when I forget stuff on these things. But yeah, it's like, that was real. That movie was based off a of true event. And he's like, and they go down to the basement. It's like, look at the canister. And you open it and you see like a decayed like zombie like that. But it's frozen. And he's like, isn't, isn't this like not good? Can't this bust and like something bad happen? He's like, nah, man, it's built great. He goes, do it. And, and that's how the zombie plague starts there in the, the mortuary. And then they, they burn the corpse. They, they, but these zombies don't work like our zombies. Uh huh. Where you like, oh, destroy the brain, you're good. Mm -hmm. Chop their head off, arms off, they're still gonna keep coming at you. Like their bodies are just keep coming. So that's, they're like really efficient. Well, that's scary. <laughs> I know, right? Mm -hmm. All they want is brains though. And uh, you, you eventually talk to one and it finds out you want, they want the brains because it takes away the pain. So they're mm -hmm. in constant pain, that's why they're always going after people. Uh huh. But one part I wanted to get to is when they get to the mortuary, when they, they, um, they the mortuary. Mortuary. 
-huh. They get to there, they get there, and they incinerate the body. Uh -huh. And you think, oh, okay, whew, we got rid of the one zombie. Mm -hmm. No, that sends it into the air, and the rain comes down and raises everything, and zombies. I didn't care that good. That's I'm trying to share. Uh, that's one of my favorite horror movies. Watch it, Return of the Living Dead. The sequels aren't great. When we went on the ride today, at the end where the bridge is in Rialto, yeah. there was something happening at some manufacturing place that was making a noise. Mm -hmm. I don't know, some kind of banging, metal, whatever. It sounded just <coughs> like Long Layers. I thought you were saying just like Pootie Tang. It sounded just like Long Layers, Joshua. I, I recorded it so you could hear it. There's gonna be some that's a movie editing. they need to redo. That, mm -hmm. that needs a redo because the special effects even for the time, mm -hmm. pretty rough. Pretty rough on the Long layers. That's Stephen King, right? Yes. Long, long layers. Yeah. Yeah. Go check out that movie on Netflix. It's, it's long. scary. It's, it's long. long. It's, it's like, like what four hours? It was supposed to be a mini series. Yeah, think. and then they just made it into a long movie. Long yeah, movie. it's long, but and it's scary, and because it has to do with time. I wouldn't say it's scary. Well, if you sit there and think about time, yeah, it gets scary. But not like when you watch it nowadays, mm -hmm. we've seen so much more crazier things. It's like mm -hmm. it's like uh, what, what the Shining. So it's. It's, like it's more, it's, it's a it. scary, like a suspense type thing because yes. you don't understand. 27 minutes, let's say goodbye okay. before the thing ends. Bye! Thank you guys, Wait. I hope you enjoyed this mukbang. Wow, we tore apart that battery. Look for this recipe. What do you mean? What, what, what? It was full and then I blinked, now we're down to 202 bars. Yeah. Look for this recipe, might, might have gone up before this mukbang. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you think. I'm not a fan because of the banana, Pers yeah. but it wasn't bad. First thing I'd say, remove the banana and I think you got something good, pretty good there because peanut butter and chocolate works. It's not my favorite, but it works. In a sense, we want to make a peanut butter uh, brownie. That's I, what we try. Pretty to make. much, I I can't like eat Reese's peanut butter cups because that one time you gave us a whole bag of them mm -hmm. and I ate all of them and I hate the taste. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys! Bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, share, comment, all that good stuff. Hit the bell. You know your hands are a little weird on the green screen. <laughs> <laughs> Remember guys, we are not purchasing this book because if you do, the only people that are making money from the book sales are my ex-distributor, Amazon, and anybody else who sells books online. What I need for you guys to do is purchase this book. This is my book of Belizean recipes, 120 recipes inside. They're all easy, fun, simple, and you guys are going to enjoy them. Take a look inside the book.